Hey folks, this is No Reviews. Today, we're looking at the Bang & Olufsen BioPlay H9 third generation wireless active noise canceling headphones. Here's the short of it. With the recent release of the BioPlay H10, the H9 are officially the previous generation product. These are still a phenomenal set of headphones with well-designed, if sparse features, a solid build, superior comfort, and great sound. With the recent release of the H10, Bang & Olufsen drop the price of these to about 350. If you find this video informative, please be sure to hit the thumbs up button so that YouTube remembers that I exist. And be sure to hit subscribe to be notified of future videos. A note on my review scores. I go from one to 10. One is a complete disappointment. 10 is perfect and delightful. Five is it's doing its job as I'd expect, but nothing special stands out. Looks, eight out of 10. These are among the most attractive headphones I've handled. They're minimalist, but iconically distinctive. Their choice of materials and how they're used give them a classy, almost luxurious feel. Build, nine out of 10. These are solidly built and make great use of metal, leather, and plastic to provide both a solid feel and decent weight, right at 295 grams or 10 and a half ounces. I just wish they had some kind of water resistance. Case, two out of 10. It's a bag. Comfort. 7 out of 10. These are light with great cushioning at the ears and good clamping force. They are also the most comfortable over the ear headphones I've used with glasses, but the headband felt a little stiff and the round ear pads brought on some ear fatigue that had me doing minor adjustments every so often. Sound quality, 8 out of 10. These have a great even sound across the entire spectrum with great instrument separation, clear highs, warm mids, and a solid bass response. These made me want to listen to more music for longer. Features, three out of 10. What these do, they do well, but they're missing standard features like on-ear detection. That was a big miss. I also have to knock some points off for the use of Bluetooth 4.2 instead of 5.0, as it does impact range. Active noise canceling, five out of 10. The actual active noise canceling is decent, though not on par with competitors like Sony or Apple. I didn't experience any cabin pressure effect, which was a delight, but not being able to listen to music while transparency mode is on is a huge miss. Software, six out of 10. It's well designed, simple, and to the point. There aren't very many features, but what's there is presented well and easy to understand. The EQing options are also easy to use and produce a great result. And while the color coding they use is nice, a graph would have been more useful. Battery life and charging, five out of 10. At 24 hours with Bluetooth and active noise canceling on, these are right in the middle of the pack. The lack of quick charge, however, is a big miss. Value for the dollar, that depends. At $500, one out of 10, don't buy these. At $350, maybe seven out of 10. Uh, the real draw here is sound. Once you step outside of that, you quickly start to find better options out there. Overall score, six out of 10, though you should really just focus on the scores for the areas that matter to you. All right, let's take a look at some other options. At 500, take a look at the H10s, take a look at the portals, take a look at the AirPods Max if you're an Apple user because you're gonna get a better overall user experience. For the $350 price point, that puts it favorably against the likes of the Sennheiser Momentum 3 or even the cheaper Sony XM4s. Prices change all the time, so I've added affiliate links in the description below to use during your product search. Now the big question, should you buy these? For 350, okay, that's a maybe. They are comfortable, they're light, they have a decent battery, and they have great sound, a shockingly hard combo to find in a headset, especially at a lower price. Would I buy these for myself? Yes, with all the stipulations above. Ultimately, these were my favorite headphones to listen to. I don't think I've enjoyed anything else more. Anyway, thanks for watching. This is No Reviews, and if you like this, please be sure to hit the thumbs up button. For more reviews or unboxing videos, please be sure to hit subscribe. Until next time.